Tag it. Okay. Good evening, everybody. This is Balloon Man Amusement with a Twist. We just showed you on face on YouTube that we're making our pig, which is ham, to a point. Um, like I said, his eyes are black. And you've got your piggy nose and all that. So we're going to be making this one today. I'll give this one back to my son so he can go play oink, oink, oink. And, and we'll continue on here. What did you do with my balloon? You're not getting in the blood. Okay. When I, when I created that pig, I just created it just prior to... No, doing the video, I had to sit and figure out the concept of what I wanted in order to get what I ended up with. The body of the balloon itself was simple to make. The hardest part was figuring out how to make the face. So, um, we're going to start out. We're going to do about, uh, um, let's, thank you. Uh, we're going to do about a head size, not really a hand size, a little a little shorter than your palm, about half a half a palm size bubble. And then we're going to uh, go with a semi big uh, um, ear twist. Because we want we want it to when the uh, lip kind of sets over itself, when, when the design is pushed together that it looks uh, um, nice. So you're basically, you got like a small foot. And then we're going to uh, um, squeeze our balloon. And then the object was to figure out, okay, how big I wanted his head to be. So I want his head to go about uh, uh, open hand size bubble in length. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to lock twist that together. Okay. Now the object was to um, be able to do a bottom bubble and the over bubble. So when creating his head, I had to figure out, okay, how big do I want it to be? And, and so I had to squish his head down. Give me a second. As you can see, I had to squish it down. So basically what I did was I took it in my hands like this. Because I don't want his head to be, like, not rounded. You know, that, as a pig is, you, you know, they're plush and fat and cuddly. And then I, I had to decide how big I want this hole in here to be. Because I gotta put his eyes in there and then I also gotta put his ears through it. So we're gonna we're gonna go about what will be an open hand size bubble. And then we're gonna roll it right through between those. Okay. So we have what looks like this so far. Okay, and when we go to put our eyes and ears in, it'll expand it up. And, and then we had to have another bubble on the bottom. The bubble on the bottom really didn't have to have a lot of uh, distance in it because we're not trying to make the uh, bottom of his face thick. Uh, you can bring it down any any distance you want. Um, what I ended up doing on most of my design was I shoved that bottom lip part in. If I can show you, I shoved it. I shoved the back part in so that his head, when when put on the body, set nice because this bubble's not here and there's going to be another bubble that's going to bump against it. Okay. So the next part was to put the ears and eyes in. So um. Basically, the next part was basically like the muzzle of the, the pig itself. Was I did the ear twist followed by the pedal twist. And then you decide how big you want his ears to be. And I don't want his ears to be bigger than his nose, really. So I'm going to go about the same size. And then followed by the ear twist. Then I had to do a two-finger bubble for uh, um, the expansion between between his inside of his head in order to get his ears to set right. But this bubble, I didn't want it really, really tight per se. I wanted like a two two-finger bubble, but I want to squeeze it down a little because I don't want it to take up a lot of space in his head. Um, then I went back with another uh, pedal twist followed by an ear twist. And then I broke it off. Whee! And thus I ended up what looks like this. 
if you do like a calipel pedal or anything, you, you'll end up with something like this. Okay? And then you just turn it here however you want them to be. You know, you got a little, little um, mini uh, headband or whatever. Um, but then the next concept was I had to put the balloon into where I want it to be. That's why I have that little bit of expansion part right there. Because shove the balloon right up inside there. And then we want to move his ears to the back of his head. That, that's why we don't want this bubble here to be really, really thick. Because we want to be able to squish it back to the back of his head. Okay? So we have what looks like this so far. Now the next part was we wanted to give him eyes. Um, Ham has black eyes. Um, you can make your eyes any color you want. I just use black because Ham has black. But really up to you. Also, this may may look really nice in blush because Ham was in blush or in pink, and the only pink I have is a rose. Okay, so basically I wanted to fill in the eye sockets, but I want to be able to split it so that the eyes are on both sides. So what I did was I did about a three finger bubble, and then I rolled it over. Then I'm going to shove it through the balloon itself. And then I want to I want to pull on it a little bit, and I want to give another three finger bubble on the other side. Because the concept is I want my balloons to be the same size. And we're tying it to the ear twist that's tied to the ear itself. I'm sorry if I, if I skipped that part when I, when I stuck the first bubble in. Okay. And you adjust his ears according to how you like it. Okay, by by playing with his eyes, you can roll them forward or backwards, and they should fill up the inside of your uh, uh, face there. If you don't want it to fill up the front side of his face, you want to push it back more, you can do that too, leaving the gap in there. But it, 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 I don't like to usually leave gaps in there. Um, it's just a personal thing. It's, it has nothing to do with anything else. And then you got to position your ear twist so that your ears set however you want them. You want them to turn in. You want to turn them straight out. You want them to lay back on the side of his head. Uh, you want to rotate his ear back. Ah, oh, no, my ear! I could have swore I tied it off. Sometimes when you tie a knot in a balloon, uh, what happens is it, by squeezing on it too much, uh, you end up uh, uh, with it coming undone. So we're just going to have to put a ear twist here, and then we're going to roll it back over into the pedal twist. Now my design is not quite the way I would like it because my ears changed, but but you already got the concept, and, and your ears can be like however big you want them to be. As you can see, this is more rounder and this is more small. Uh, you can really do whatever you want with them. And again, you just position them how you want. Okay. And that was the head of the piggy. Okay, the body, like I said, was really simple to make. I took two balloons, I blew them up to about uh, seven fingers, and then I had to decide, okay, how big I want my legs. So my legs, I wanted to go like open hand size bubble. And then, since I had them side by side, I just, I just wrapped them side by side like this, and that was the back legs. Then I decided how big I wanted his body to be. His body can be anything you want. I usually go about uh, two semi-open hand size bubbles, and then... Look it right there. 
Um, I could go and do the front legs here and then come back and do the rest of him. And then we'd have what looks like a body now, but that's not how I did mine. Um, the next step I did was I wanted to bend my friend. Because I want I want, I want him to be so much plus. You know, so the next concept was I needed to figure out, okay, how big that bubble was, and then continue on. So whenever I add a bubble, it should have its own bend. And then just squish him out a few times, you know, just make sure he's uh, um, doing what you want him to do. Take this one and wrap this one in. And again, just... Check your balloons, make sure they're fluffing out the way you want. Okay. Now, you could stop here with the four on the top and, and the one on the bottom. This is where you're going to put your legs between in order for your Piggy can have his legs in the downward position here. And you gotta you gotta kinda semi bend it, uh giving it like like what is like a pinch twist in order to get his legs to turn downward. Uh be gentle on doing this because um they are usually fully inflated. So if, if you're having issues with that part, um Squeeze them out before you get to this far into the design so that they set a little better. Voila. Uh, what I did for the piggy tail, because it was like, it did not want to curl the way I wanted. I wanted to do like a nice spiral. Uh, so what I did was I ended up doing what is a crimp or a pinch twist. I was like squeezing on it. And like I said, it, it just did not quite do what I wanted. So what I did was after I found out where the end of the bend was, I broke it off a little long. And I tied it off. Then I went back into the body. But I left I left this part a little long back here. Because I just wanted to just barely snag the, the tail with the with the design. I wanted I wanted to leave it semi hanging free back here. And your tail can be as big or as small as you want. As you can see, um, his tail is not tied in there tight. It's just enough to give it that little flail like a pig tail has, where it curls over. Okay. So now that we got that part, now we needed front legs. And, and uh, then we have to tie on the head. As you remember, I decided that my legs were going to be an uh, um, open hand size bubble. So I need to make an open hand size bubble followed by an open hand size bubble. You don't really have to save that, but I did just on the off chance that uh, I popped these uh, um, legs while trying to get them in place. Okay, now that we have our open hand size bubble, open hand size bubble, what do we want to do is we want to we want to kind of bend it before we get it in there. Uh, be, like I said, be gentle because they are fully inflated, as you can see. Um, he's, he's, he's having too much fun with me. Uh, sometimes you get where you push it past the knot. So you have to kind of push it back. Okay. With that said, now we just want to insert our legs. Uh, you can choose whichever part of your body you want to put your legs into. And the object, when you're putting them into your design, you're going to want to spin them around. Because um, you want to lock them into the design so that way if the bubble that's holding them in place pops, they are still part of the design. So you may you may want to like encompass a few bubbles before you set them in place. Okay, this is looking really good to me, and we're looking at it just in. 
okay uh, I added black on the bottom of the first one I'm not gonna add that now but that's only just a double um, what is a double ear twist was for the feet um, now that we have our head we have our body we just got to connect them um, this is where scrap comes into play um, scrap is really good for doing this or if you did like me um, when, when I created the, the original body part you can see I had extra um, so I'm going to use the extra that's already attached to the design and then I'm just going to insert it right here as you can see right here on the back of the head right between behind the ears there is an open slot and if I can tip it just right you can see it goes all the way through so I'm just going to slide my, my piece right through the design as you can see I got a hold of it right there behind the ears and, and, and basically you want to pull it as tight as you possibly can then you're going to want to go up under the, the chin bubble too so you're going to pull your chin back out and go up under the chin because you don't want to just tie it around one bubble because what happens is if one bubble breaks then the head will pop off so you want to kind of wrap it in there okay with that said we've wrapped our head in place and i tucked away the extra now the object is to position my legs the way i want them and then i got to reposition his head and body okay looks, looks like an oink, oinker to me okay so that 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 is my ham or my pig if you wanted to, you could draw on the bottom, or you could add like a, a um, a, like a double ear twist in there, and then actually put something on there where it looks like it's a pork. Um, like spin it and do a double ear twist of a brown color or something, so it looks like it's the pork part. But that that is my ham. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you uh, um, on Tuesday. Enjoy.